We are live. We are? We are, yes. We are live, sir. Oh, shit. Okay. We're live. I said we're live. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Okay. Hermione is fiercely typing, looking for pictures of Bailey on the internet as we speak. No. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yes. Carmine, Carmine's talking to his boss. Okay. Well, that's that's your that's your problem. The um. Good evening, everybody. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what we got here? Uh, your sex doll. Technically, no, but I guess probably in certain countries of the world they might use this for that. I've been cleaning off my all my belts and putting mink oil on them. And let me tell you, pain in the butt to put mink oil on them. Yeah, I could have told you that. Absolutely. Shout out to Kevin Davenport, wherever he is. Hope he's feeling better. He gave me the mink oil advice. So I'm trying it. He says it stops him from cracking. Roy Kolb, how are you doing? Now, I'm not going to guess what's in the box because I know what's in the box. By the way, your internet's fucked up a bit. Say no. Oh, boy. You're like that. Like Max Headroom? No, no, it's like that type thing. Is it still like that? Wait, it's, uh, say the alphabet. The alphabet. Yeah, you're yeah, because it's there's a there's a gap there's like a gap or whatever you want to call it between when you're saying and when the thing. Should goes. I pop out and pop back in? Let's try that. Up, up to you. Yeah. Up to you, sir. Because if there if there's one if somebody who's an expert about popping in and then popping out, it's karma. Yes, that's 100 percent sure. So it's another Mikey New Belt Day. Mikey has a problem. Mikey has an, ad an addiction problem again. Bankruptcy. Are we any better? Are you frozen? Uh actually, oh no, I, I just went, I just had a circle thing at all. Wow. Well, I mean, here's the thing, though, folks. We're both getting hit, like, with a big storm right yeah, now. Yeah, so, pouring in both places. So Yeah, windy and all that kind of stuff. So there might be some internet issues. So hope, hopefully everything goes okay. But we're, we're going to do an unboxing here. Now, I know what you're going to say. What belt did Mikey get now? What belt did Mikey get now? <laughs> what did he get? Now, what Mike, did he get? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show everybody. I think people will be pleasantly surprised, but not for the reason that they think. And I'm going to explain why as soon as I get this out. Then it's not your sex doll. Well, besides that. Oh, now what I like it. Oh, this. Okay, so this is a long one. This one actually fits the whole box because I can feel like it's right to the edge. Some of them don't. Yeah. And I. And I, I previously said the last one that I opened. I think that might be one of the reasons the boxes are popping open the ends. Because if they don't, it, it's shifting back and forth in the box. So it might be hitting the ends, and the weight of it, you know, keeps just banging and, and actually ends up breaking the tape. But this one goes right right to the edge. I'm going to take this thing out. Let's see if I can get it out without taking out. No, the whole thing's coming out. So there we go. The whole and this one is actually big enough that it actually sits well in the uh, as you like to call it, the, the formed cardboard. It actually was in there very, very good. What the fuck? Back out in the room here. Oh. Okay, there you go. This is why I unbox them first. Well, I just you know, sometimes, sometimes I don't, but Carmine was like, Aren't you gonna open it early to take a look? I said, No, I'm gonna, everybody's gonna see it the same time I do. He was going to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, originally was, yes, but I actually got home early. So from I'm really school. excited to see what the deal is here. So tell me when you're ready to go full screen. Uh, I'm pretty much, I guess, ready right now because I'm ready to show the bag. So are we ready? Are we ready? Do you know what this is? This is the shop Ryan. Finally. And why are you surprised I got the shop Ryan? Because I've been saying I'm getting the shop Ryan for four months now. <laughs> and I always end up ordering something else. So this time... We actually did it. We actually you did it. Oh, my. We did it. Did you order a couple different belts this month, though? Uh, 
What the yay? No, not in March. No. You didn't order a million dollar? No, just this. So far. So far. So let's open this up. Now this is interesting. The bag is not that um like what the other ones are made of. This silky. is like like not silky or not that mesh type of feeling like some of them are. That looks more I, like a fake velvet. It does. It feels like a velvety type of feel to it. The it's other ones, like the winged eagle ones, are like a fake leather, I think. Yeah. So that's that's, that's like velvety, yeah. I could see it. So it has it definitely has an, a different bag than the rest of them do. Now the backing is covered on this, correct? Yes, which is technically not accurate to the belts. Yeah, I know. I just did the. I was just shining my C four. Only the only two screws that are available are the ones for the name plates, which and is it, funny. It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts because, um, like my C four has the screw showing it, and it's correct, but it just drives me crazy. Well, maybe they, you know. But listen, your C four, my shop Ryan, they're nothing compared to a Rocha belts. Okay. Remember that. <laughs> so it's technically upside down. So let me turn it the right side up. It does have the the, the plastic or whatever you want to call it on the snaps. I can see. You that. Never understand the reason for that. Well, it's to cut. It's to protect them so they don't get scratched or whatever. Uh, okay. well, so are we ready to see this thing? Because I have not looked at the plate yet. I'm ready. Yeah, I want to see it. Well, you're all going to see it the same time I do on screen, and then I'll look at it. So here she is. Yo, gorgeous, gorgeous. The, the shop Ryan or the Ryan, Ryan of the shop. Now, okay, so I'm taking a look here. So, yes, this is definitely the corrected version, as they call it. Because Yeah, look, the letters are right. Yeah, the I-O-N on the end there are the same size as the rest. Yeah. Yes. So for those who don't know, the first version of this, whatever the fuck they did, when you got to the every all the letters were the same size except when you got to the I O N at the end of champion, and they were smaller. Yeah. So what they did apparently this time was they just made all the letters a little bit smaller, so they were all the same size. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, but it's that, there's that part there. Uh, very nice. I want to see the. I want to see the uh, the border. The border. Oh, yes, the rope. The rope border. And for uh, nice, very nice. And for people, I've seen people actually took this thing apart because you know you have people do that. Um, the rope yes. border it, again, it doesn't end at the edge here, and it actually goes under the plate. So it is a separate piece, technically. No, no well, that's not really a separate piece, but it, it goes, it's it's molded or whatever you want to say to go under, like like it's it curves around the whole the whole plate. So oh, partially, wow. so partially goes under the plate. So there's that. So that's yeah, don't take it apart. Yeah, I don't. I don't plan to. No. What's interesting is though, because I was thinking to myself, did some break here? No, actually, it didn't. It's just well, maybe I don't know. There's a couple areas here where it's actually kind of like sharp. Hmm. Or wait, what is that? What just came off there? No. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm not. Hmm. So it's not so much sharp as uh, as it almost feels like a piece of the strap came off. Hmm. Like it's kind of weird. I don't think you can see that there. It is, yeah, it's strap. It's yeah. Yeah, that came off. So it's like weird. It's like okay, that that's what was sticking out. That was poking me. Did you get injured? You could sue. I, I, maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple pieces like that. It's like, did it stick to it? Nick Carnavale says, "Looks great, Mike." There's another piece. You know, on this one side, there's like some pieces of the leather there that's got stuck or something. I, but I mean, the leather looks good. The fake leather looks good. It's not like there's a hole there or a piece off. I, I don't know. Well, don't forget, they're cutting this off of a whole thing, man. That's true. So, oh, yes, I've been injured. Right? That's what that reminds me. Yes, look. Oh, you could sue. Ethan says, Sup, fella. I have, I have, look, it triggered me again. Yeah, but Ethan wants to know if this is an ethical bootleg. <sighs> I mean, this is based on the Chromine, Chromine, excuse me, which, you know, WWE technically doesn't own the rights to, I guess, but they kind of do, but they don't, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, WWE boot and belts? Well, nobody owns the Chromine, actually. 
Now, a couple things I'm going to say, too, from videos I saw of the of the V1 of this. I mean, people have complained about, oh, my God, Stull, you got to put something on it. I, I mean, it, it's not super mirror finish, but I don't it think it looks that dull to me. It doesn't look that dull, no. And the other thing, too, which I thought was interesting was in almost every video I saw of this thing, especially, like I said, the V1. Right. The red gems look like they were black, like they were such a dark red. Another red. Yeah, I mean, but you could clearly see that these stand out as being red. I'll get to what Ethan was talking about in a second. Conrad owns the belt. He doesn't own the rights to the belt. He owns the belt itself. Yeah. Now, so, is that blotchy? Is there that, 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 that strap looks blotchy? It is. There's very much, and it's printed that way. It's meant, it's meant to look that right. way. Every video I've seen has it this way. Why? I'm not sure. Why? I guess they felt it gave it a more antique or the older look or something, maybe. I don't know, but the, yeah, it is. It is very splotchy. I don't think was it the original like that. I don't think so. No, I thought it was just plain brown. Now, how is oh. the strap flexibility wise? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not stiff per se, but it's a little. No, there we go. Yeah, when yeah, I mean, when you hold it by the main plate, it doesn't really bend. It bends a little bit, but if you hold it's huge. Yeah, but if you hold it by like side side plates. As it were, yeah. Now the C4 does not have that bend because it's like saddle leather. Okay. You could break it in and give it that bend, but I won't. Now my only, like I said, the back is the uh, you know is covered. Is a there is a texture to it, like a I would almost call it a pebble type texture. Uh, if, you, if we'll get it on there or not, you can see. So does the strap have an objectionable odor? That's interesting because I've heard that before. I I don't think no, not to me. But again, this is a V2, so the V1s I know where there's a lot of problems. With. No, I mean it's it's not bothering me at all. No, is there an odor at all? I don't really smell anything. No, all WWE shop belts usually have some kind of paint smell though when you take them. Yeah, out. I, I mean the initial when it comes out, yeah, but I mean beyond that, no. I mean it's not like I, I was expecting this sucker to stink. The only complaint I have about it, really, the only complaint I have about it is that there are no side plates to, or no name uh, name plates, excuse me, to exchange it out with. <laughs> you know, there will be. I'm sure there will be eventually. But I'm like, yeah. But it's got it's got. I don't know if you can see in the name plate area there. It's got the correct like border design yeah, there. Yeah, nice, very nice. There's a lot of detail amongst the swooshes or whatever you want to call them. Try to get that up in there and stuff. I don't know if you could see that oh. well. Um, like it's not just the 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 texture behind like the wrestlers and stuff, but if you look in the swooshes, you could see there's actual like <laughs> design there, like texture. Yeah, I just saw that in my C4 today too. Like here, if you look at them, like there, you could see it. So it's not yeah. just like plain silver. There's actual like etching in there. They did a great job. They did, they did. Honestly, what I've always said to people, if you can't, if you can't like get a uh, now, so Brian says his V two had this thing strap. Must have been that specific batch. He said he had it re-leathered. Uh, Stephen Hammer, I was going to say this: best affordable big gold, in my opinion. Even has the hash marks the real one has on the plates. If you look close enough, I was going to say if you can't get yourself a classic shields or a C four, my yes. advice is to go with a shop, Ryan, because I think it's the best of the bunch outside of those two so david cummings says beautiful belt mike i want to talk about what can i talk about real quick what um ethan was talking about or you still have something to show us no no i, I mean this is i mean this is pretty much you know i i will say this though and this is some karma i wouldn't care about but i always laugh about it this is the first shop belt that i've got since then i started getting them again last year where the warning choking hazard label has not come off oh I mean, they always come off yeah they always come off on mine I always laughed. The choking hazard sticker falls right off. Possibly the possibly choke on. Besides I mean, the choking hazard sticker. Technically, the screws. I guess you could take the screws out of that. There, and, you know. I guess, or the, or the, the I guess if a, if, a, if one of the gem gems. Balls, plus, yeah, which is always a really, really small throat, though. No well, kids, you know. You're gonna give this to a, a three year old, right? I mean, listen. Right out of the womb, a belt's for you. You know that. So, Ethan's talking about, uh, I read a post, I'm not going to put the guy out there. I was kicked out of his group, and I don't even know why. I, I said he, I thought he overpaid for a belt, but, you know, God bless you if you like it. I think he took that personally. Um, 
So I don't know. Um, I was kicked out of his group. I just found out today that I was kicked out of the group because I went to go see the post. Um, so he puts in the group, uh, basically, um, you know, ethics vary in terms of boot. Like, let me, let me try and read the actual, I'm going to read the actual thing. But, oh, I got to find it. I got to find it. There's been 8,000 messages here. Did I save it? Did I save a copy of this? Because I, 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 I laughed. Yeah, here it is. So I'm not going to read it word for word. Um, but it's basically the, eth the ethics of bootlegging belts, you know, is, is controversial. Some collectors staunchly oppose it. Others, you know, think about the history of belts and then, you know, makers taking customers money and not going through the orders if you want the original maker. Um, but this person says that when a belt maker is actively producing championship titles for a current wrestling promotion, that it's basically it's unethical to replicate that or profit from their work without their permission. Um, that, to me, is really convenient um, in terms of ethics. Because it's like, well, it's ethical to get the bootlegs I get. But it's not ethical to get the bootlegs you get if it's from this guy that I like because I'm a friend of his. Um, well, can, can I just opine on some here? Which it, is Brian. Kinda, worth kinda, it. Kind of funny. Um, I'm thinking to myself, well, yeah, but here's the thing. Any belts being made today, you don't own the copyright to that. The company owns the copyright to that. Correct. So you don't own shit. <laughs> well, to begin with, as far as a maker goes, if you, you say that. if you say actively produced today, we were talking about this in, in a chat group with Ethan. If you say, well, it, you know, you can't reproduce a maker's work that's actively making them today. Well, WWE shops making winged eagles right now. And if you say, for the sake of argument, spend thirty five hundred dollars on a bootleg winged eagle, it's still a bootleg. Of somebody who's making them right now, because you can go right now to www.shop.com and buy that winged eagle. Yes, you can buy more than one. You can buy so multiple you, versions of it. So you, you talk about ethics, and you're you're bootlegging something that's actively available for sale from the copyright owner right now. So the original maker gets paid because they get the royalty. The people who own the copyright get paid WWE, and you get the, the real one. Now I'm sitting here with. That's a uh, Ali Honest WrestleMania 4 HD. That's a Corey King. Okay. So I'm not preaching about ethics. And I got four WWE shop wind eagles over there. So I'm not preaching about ethics. <clears throat> These are all boots. They're just they're just high-end boots. But they're all boots. Except for the UFC, which is the sh UFC shop version, it's just re-leathered and restoned. And I just saw that even. And that's the uh, WWE Shop official um, world heavyweight. It's just re-leathered and re-stoned. Uh, dairy boot like a Rolex. I would not. Um, Rolex is very big in their copyrights. I know where you're going with that. But I have no problem if you just come out and say, look, I like this one company. This particular maker is a friend of mine. And I'm not going to allow his bootleg work to be shown in this group. It's totally biased, but he's a friend of mine, and that's what I'm going to do. And that's cool. But when you preach ethics and you try to find a loophole to allow you to be unethical. Yeah, so you could be unethical. Do as I say, not as I do, basically. You know, you try to find a loophole for you to be unethical and then telling everybody else about ethics, I find rich. I personally have the official AEW belt. The official AEW tag, the official AEW TNT. I didn't bootleg anything from AEW. I did originally, and they sucked, except for the Meon. Meon was good. Um, but I have all the official AEW stuff. So, uh, and I think they do a great job with their their AEW shop belts. You don't have to bootleg them. That's my personal opinion. But if you want to, go ahead. Listen, the guy you're talking about. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'll put it out there. I'll say his guy's name. Red Leather, Ron Edwardson. True story. Friend of mine, personal friend of mine. I know he's not lying to me. He showed me progress pictures, showed me the opening game. Ron Edwardson made a WWF classic tag for this guy like a year or two years ago. It might have been, no, it was about a year ago. 
classic WWF logo, the whole thing. Made it for a friend of mine. So don't talk to me about ethics and bootlegging when the guy who we're all trying to protect here, I'm not trying to protect him, fuck, but the guy we're all trying to protect here is bootlegging. He's just doing it quietly. So please, please. Almost like somebody else who I remember is not a fan of bootlegs and has actively tried to shut down the market for bootlegs, yet he was also involved in some bootlegging materials. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting, yeah. Ethan is, is agreeing with what I said. It better just say that. Look, dude's a friend of mine. I'm not allowing it. It's totally biased, but that's the way it is. <laughs> so you an ethics quiz. <laughs> I didn't see that part, did it? We're going to get cards and letters. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, talking about ethics. Come on, man. That's That was a whole bowl of – it was a whole, like – stream of bullshit to just say I'm protecting my friend. Just say I'm protecting my friend. Just say I'm protecting my friend. Listen, it's your group, man. Be biased. I mean, let, let, let's be honest here. I, again, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but we know we know two people who are American belt makers who also are involved in bootleg situations. For a fact. Yes, for a fact. Not even, this isn't even like, oh, we heard, no. For a fact. So, hey. Yeah. Right here. Right I know on. guys who got belts from them. Yes. I'm not going to say any names. I know for a fact. We know for a fact. So, and the only reason I'm saying Ron's name is simply because Ron goes around shouting from the rooftops, don't bootleg my stuff, and he's bootlegging. I don't know how often he does it, but he does it. Mm-hmm. Give him enough money, he'll bootleg you a WWF belt. And so he's basically full of shit. Yes. So everybody's got ethics when it involves them. But not when it involves somebody else. I, I don't bullshit. I don't bullshit. I'll buy whatever I think is the best version of something I can get. Now, for a lot of belts today, WWE Shop does a great job. There's no need to bootleg them. I think if you bootleg the spinner or you bootleg the current Seth Rollins, please, guys, stop bootlegging the fucking Seth Rollins World Championship. Stop it. I'll I'll go one further with you. The, also, the current U.S. title because we've seen some bad ones after. People cannot like do the 3D Eagle. They can't do the 3D. Don't, don't bootleg the spinner. Don't even bootleg this thing here. The 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 world heavyweight or the undisputed because the, the WWE shop makes a great version. You want to releather it. You want to restone it. But don't boot it. it. There's no need. There's no need. WWE shop is producing quality stuff right now. So there's there's no need. To, to bootleg any of this stuff. Um, you know, that being said, I made the phone to life, right? Mm-hmm. Phone to life is an idea for me and our, our mutual friend whose name we can never say on the show. But the phone to life were, were our idea. Now, JB Toys goes out and he <laughs> tells people he came up with the idea. He invented this idea. Here's my artwork for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't give a God, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Because it's not my artwork. It was our idea, but it's not our artwork. I remember people sending me posts, and I just laughed at it. People were like, look what JB Toys is doing. What am I going to do? I can't, am I going to sue him for somebody else's copyright? I can't. Yeah, I mean, I, I have, depending on which one you need, Ethan, I have the artwork. Um, I think I'm only missing the artwork for the World Heavyweight, but I might have it. Um, but you can take it to any maker you want. Just get, you know, I always say it's two millimeter brass. And uh, Velcro, and and the Weeby is Mark. <laughs> and so I mean, you know, the ethics game. Into we're in a bootleg hobby talking about ethics. We're gonna bootleg the whole hobby is based on bootlegs. For God's sake, you know what? Maybe th- this wouldn't even be an issue if we just took the time and the appreciation to look at other people's pictures and now and, and, and have our collections through that get our satisfaction that way. But we didn't. We actually bought stuff. By the way, I'll point out again. Oh, it's a boot Is right a boot? here with a WWF logo on it right here. You, you know, legally, you can own a boot. People make this mistake. It's like, yeah. oh, you know, you legally, you know, legally, you can own bootleg anything. You yeah. can't sell it. But you absolutely can own it. That's playing right there. So, so it's totally legal to own it. Um 
yeah, this, yeah whatever. This, I just yeah. that's it in I a think, nutshell. I, I think me and Ethan, when we saw that post, uh, us of all people in in this particular chat, I think we were like floored. We were just like, what? Wow, ethics. Yeah, just we were talking about Exo Holy about the Exo Bootleg while overpaying for a boot. Way you, can't, you can't put yourself on an ethical standpoint when you yourself are doing the very thing that you're arguing is unethical. <laughs> now, listen, the thing he overpaid for by a great margin is beautiful. It's beautiful. Don't get me just, wrong. But just don't but, I saw, but I look at Ethan's and I look at his and I'm like, looks the same. At this point, what's happening? Who's like, well? This is the most accurate to Reggie's bullshit. At this point, you're getting so far ahead of what Reggie did. You're getting so much better than what Reggie. These are better than what Reggie did. I'm being honest. These are better than what Reggie did because Reggie didn't have the technology to do this. He didn't have the machinery to do this. My my, my previous belt, the one that the the official one I got before this was the ECW belt. From WWE shop, that's better quality than the freaking actual ECW belt was. Well, okay. In fairness, it's it's going to be hard to call me poor. It's going to it's going to be hard. To, that's a C four up there. I can get your thirty five hundred dollar eagle if I want it tomorrow, but I don't either, Brian. I don't see it. I don't see. Maybe if I get a microscope, I can see some differences. I, there's no way you're going to show me $2,000 worth of differences. There's no way. No. Yo, that was crazy. And I know this for a fact because I was talking to, to uh, Classic Shields when I got mine. And when I was going to get a winged eagle, I'm like, you're lucky you're getting your winged eagle now. And I had their winged eagle. I say I don't have a, a CS winged eagle, but I do because... My SSCW National Championship is a winged eagle. The only difference is instead of an eagle in the background, there's an American flag. It's a winged eagle. It's a CS winged eagle. So this, you're lucky you're getting it now. We're raising the price of the winged eagle $2,000. They told me to, we're raising it. Everybody. They didn't say it's new artwork. They didn't say it's closer to Reggie. They just said we're raising the price of the winged eagle to 3500 Now, look, if you can... BS somebody into giving you an extra two grand. God bless you. God bless you. I paid fifteen hundred for mine, and all they said to me was, "I could have got the same if I ordered the same thing." A few months later, I would have been paying thirty five hundred. That's all they said. They didn't say anything special about it. They just they were raising the price. Now, if you can finagle that and tell people that you changed the artwork here and now it's more accurate because you, by the way, how do you know it's more accurate? How do you know it's more accurate? Did you get Reggie's artwork? Reggie only had one artwork. Either so, then what you're telling your other customers is, "Hey guys, the one you bought from us was bullshit. This is the real." How could there be this many versions? Well, well, here here's another question too, or not a question. Here's another point too. You say, "Oh, it's the most accurate to Reggie," but here's the thing: each one of Reggie's was different because each one was freaking hand. Made and, so and, and each and one didn't was, give a shit. Yeah, each no, one was listen. not an exact copy of the one before. May he rest in peace. Reggie's the best belt maker to ever live. But Reggie didn't care the way we care about specific details. He wasn't looking when he made the money ink tags. People were like, Oh, why do you think he painted it black? Why are the side plates different from one another? Because he didn't give a shit. He wasn't trying to make some special version, he didn't care. Yeah, listen, bro. I, you know, if, listen. I can't bullshit. I bought the Donald Trump high top shoes. Uh, fortunately, I got them for four hundred dollars. They're selling for like five thousand dollars now. It's like a twenty dollar pair of shoes. Okay, he just slapped his logo on it. Now it's that. Now it's four hundred dollars. So when you can tell people, look, it's it's for this very special reason. It's this price, and they buy it, and they give you the money. I'm for I'm for capitalism. I love capitalism. You can do that. God bless you. You know, the only times I, I was stupid because I didn't give those when I was making the coins, I didn't give those excuses. I gave the truth. Got to raise the price $5 because they're charging import tax now. <laughs> yeah, that was the excuse because it was the truth. Um, wait, now, see, now you're going back because my original, the original Reggie I bought Winged Eagle, now again, custom, it was for my company, not WWF logo. 
but I think I paid, I want to say thirteen fifty because the bars, believe it or not, they charge you at that point is a hundred dollars for the bars. Um, I paid thirteen fifty for Reggie, and I paid, I want to say eleven fifty for the Intercontinental style and the Hogan eighty six style. But they were custom jobs; they did not have WF logo on them. Yeah. By the way, I'm still here. I just got to clean this up. That's what we got to do. We get Brian Hip to make the boxes for us. We sell them for two thousand dollars extra. That's a great idea. We split the thousand for Brian, thousand for us, and we say it's as close to the original. <laughs> How do you know it's as close to yours? You talk to Reggie or Dave? How do you know? True. Now, here's something interesting. Did they help you make it? Hey, here's something interesting I just noticed because I have to clean this up because my cat's having a fit in my bedroom and I have to let him out. Um, there's no none of those uh, silicone packets with this belt. Oh, that is weird. Usually they have a ton of them. Yeah, usually there's a bunch. Yeah, not, not, not in this one. I'm sorry, I'm Brian Allen. Sorry, Brian Hip. But you can make a box too. You can make a cardboard. So, again, I think I saw the guy's $3,500 winged eagle, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It just, it looks the same as mine, and it looks the same as Ethan's. So, I, you know, to me, maybe if I held it in my hand, I would say, wow, this is worth $2,000 more, but I doubt it. Um, ah, see, there you go. The, the silica packs make it $3,500. Yeah. Oh. Those are Close to the silica packs that Reggie Parks had when he shipped belts. May he rest in mm -hmm. peace. Oh, hi, Mew. How you doing? Yeah, the demon is in there. It was causing a mess, so I had to let him out. <laughs> oh, I could hear him. I could hear him through the other side of the door. And I'm like, I can't leave all the mess on the floor because he's going to do something. So, with it, so. Correct, Mark. Correct. Oh, let's put that back up there. Yeah, it's not personal at all. I, listen. We all overpay for shit. Look, you guys know the price of the C4, right? If I had to sell it tomorrow, outside of the belt hobby, go to a pawn shop or whatever, 500 bucks. Because nobody understands what it is. In the real world, nobody understands what it is. Mike Shoprine would probably carry more value in the real world because it's official. Yeah, than that. But, in but the real world, we're talking about but yours obviously is a higher quality and deserves to be more. But yeah, I understand what but, you're saying. But outside of this hobby, nobody knows that. Hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? It is. No, absolutely, Nick. It's way different. Nick was saying he has a Groovy G, a Fan Dulux, uh, a CS Big Gold. The C4 is way different. And it's true because people compare the, the, the Classic Shields. And I'm like, look, guys, if you're going to spend that kind of money, get the C4 because the Classic Shields... The only people that are going to tell you the Classic Shields is actually better are people that own the Classic Shields and are pissed off right now. The C4 is better. It just is. Now, I've seen Nick's Groovy G. I've seen his CS. Seen his Fandu Lux, actually. They're all beautiful. Looking at Mike's shop, Ryan, it's absolutely beautiful. Get what the hell you want. Yeah. But Each one is a, a little different. Each one has its own things, you know, as it were. Yeah. A, stop acting like you're better than somebody else because you spent more money and crapping on what they got. Um, and B, don't preach about fucking ethics, man. When you're doing the same unethical shit, just say the guy's a friend of mine. I don't want his bootleg working here. And I, nobody would have said shit. Wouldn't have bothered anybody. We all have friends. I, for a long time, I was like, yo, I won't let anybody post. And I still wouldn't. You know, the the, the Dan McMahon IWGP, just because I didn't think it was cool. Because I like Dan, and you know, I didn't think it was cool. You know, because he's still making them and this and that. Will you shut up? Shut up, please. Nick Nick hates the pores. Nick makes about a half a million dollars a year. I know. I know, Anthony. It's supposed to just be fun. I like the Groovy G. I think it's really groovy. I do. I saw it in person from, you know, Nick brought it over. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not a crumb rind, but it's gorgeous. That's it, yeah, right there. That's the thing. 
that's the thing. When you're trying to make an argument on something that you have no leg to stand on, that's true, Platinum. I saw it. Oh, by the way, just so you're aware, Carmine, I was kicked out of that group as well today. So Why? You didn't say nothing. I know. I didn't have to. I guess by association. So that, that's fine. Hey, whatever. Right. So we're kicked out of the group because we critiqued your belt? I, listen, I don't give a fuck. I don't even check the belt groups. I, I, I didn't have a chance. By the way, I was going there to say something. That's what I discovered. I I was, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's I, was, I discovered I wasn't there anymore. I was like, the, oh, groups okay. I post in, the groups I post in are Big Boys Belts, United Wrestling Belt Fans, which is ours. Um, and uh, Championship Belt Brothers and uh, Wide World of Belts. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I post in yeah. as far as belt groups go. Um, I've seen, you know, I, every now and again, I'll post something, you know, in the other ones, I guess. But buy what you want and mind your business is a great rule of thumb. <laughs> Congratulations. Yo, we'll start our own group. Ethan, talk to me after the show. We'll start me, you, and Mike. We'll start our own group. It'll be different. And uh, we won't allow bootlegs of anybody named Timothy. No bootleg. It's unethical to bootleg from guys named Timothy. I have I have a request. I want no bootlegs of belts that have the image of a boot on it. <laughs> I'm not scared of anybody, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. You, you, Nick, you have enough problems these days. You know, you you're, you're bringing some unwanted attention your way. You better watch yourself, there, buddy. You know, instead of kicking people out of your group, just be like, you know what? Yeah, that whole ethics thing I did, that was complete bullshit. I didn't mean that. That was complete bullshit. I just like this personal, you know, this guy personally. There you go. See. Unbelievable hypocrisy. I, I, thy name is the belt hobby. I, I mean, it, it bears saying again a guy who just bought a overpriced bootleg of a belt is in his group preaching about how it's unethical for people to buy boots. I mean, a just, belt that you can get from WWE shop from the yeah. official person, everybody who owns the copyrights all gets paid. So you're robbing from the yeah. owners of those copyrights. I mean, Rob, they, you can say, well, Dave can't make the belt. He, I can't get it for 10 years. That's my excuse. Get it from WWE shop. Everybody gets paid. Well, Brian, again, welcome. Uh, yes. Hey, good. Everybody, everybody who's commented tonight will be kicked out. How about everybody who doesn't comment tonight will be kicked out? That's true. There we go. That's the best way to do it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. But Mark, wouldn't you feel better just looking at pictures of other people's collections? I mean, you know, when you get more enjoyment living vicariously through the pictures of others. I miss these. I miss these lives like this where we just have this kind of fun. This is great. Um, we should do a private chat one night again. Maybe, maybe Monday. We'll all get together for a chat room. But uh, in the meantime, I've got to take the dog for a walk. And it's yes. not going to, I don't want to, I want to do it before it gets even more rain. So, uh, Ethan, remember to send me a link to your podcast on Wednesday. Cause I will forget, uh, but I really want to see it. I'm, I'm going to say a final word about this thing. I paid, I got this on sale for like three, whatever. So like it was around uh, the total with shipping and everything was around three fifty seven with fan cash and all that other shit. So I, I'm, am I going to compare it to a C4? Absolutely not. Am I going to compare it to CS? Again, absolutely not. Not the but point. For a shop belt, affordable shop belt, it's one of the best on the market. It's I, I'm going to say it's better than Fandu. Fandu may shine more, honestly. I mean, it does have a shine to it, but it's not a super mirror finish. It's just a, a bit of a shine there. It does the Fandu, I don't know if the, if the watch is like this. The Fandu does like a bold. Yeah. And obviously, 
I, I'm going to say it's more accurate than Fandu, and it's worth the money more than Fandu because there's another problem too. Fandu, uh, don't regular Dome Globes and the Luxes do have a history of having tarnish appear on their plates. I've never had a shop belt that has had tarnish appear on the plates. So. Yeah, I'll be happy to come on, man. So I have no reason to believe that this one will. So is it the most perfect? No, it's not. But for a good price and an official version, it's ab I, I, I absolutely love it. So I would recommend it. Again, the issue, the main issue has been fixed, which is the lettering. It is yeah. now it is now correct that all the letters are the same size. So you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, just go for it. If you're interested in it, go for it. I, I would recommend getting this belt. I would. I also would. I think it's great. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I think it's probably the third best on the market, and the price is fantastic. Yeah, especially if you get it on a 25 or 30% off sale. Oh, yeah. You know, you're paying 300 for this fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, compare it to back in the day, 1998, when the Figs one came out the first. And one. I loved it. Yeah. That was 250 for two millimeter brass plates. And I loved it. I was walking around my house. Cut Ric Flair promos. Yeah, I mean this thing. It does have a little bit of a curve to it. Not a huge curve, but there is a little I bit of a curve. A major curve. Like, like, it, it never did have a major curve. No, never did. So it's supposed. I think to be it did when it was made, but it flattened out over the years. I don't know. I don't remember really if it had a curve. I thought it was always kind of kind of flattish, but I could be wrong. I'd have to watch when it came out the first episode. Yes. All right, Mike. Congratulations! Fantastic, gorgeous job. I think it has a shine personally. Four months late, but here it is. Finally. I think it has a shine. Yes. Um, so the only thing is I want to get a spinner now. I was thinking about that. I want a spinner, but I want it already to be re-leathered and re-stoned. I don't want to have to go through all that. Well, here's the other thing, though, too. You're going to have to get one of those, the, that side plate. I would. Yeah, you'd have to yeah, buy one from the shot or get whatever. Yeah, you'd have to get that two, that set or whatever. And yeah, give it no, to the first. Kind of. Not looking to get it this month, but... On, on, honestly, re-leathered, <laughs> re-stoned, again, I understand why you would, but I don't think the stones in there are that bad, really, honestly. No, but if I can get it re-leathered and re-stoned, I would. I don't want it not re-leathered, that's for certain. It did have a good curve when it came out. Okay, I thought so, because the C4 has a curve. Okay. I, 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 I honestly don't know. I mean, damn accurate, so. I mean, this one has a slight one, but it's not. It's but it, not flattened, it flattened out over the years, though, it did. Yeah, it's not a huge curve, but there is a slight curve. Yeah. They were pretty rough on it. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, shit. So I guess you guys will see me on Wednesday. Oh, there you go. Stone leather 900. Fix oh, it's fin a figs. It's a figs and it's re 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 leathered and re stoned. So, I mean, you know, the belt goes for like four or something by itself. So thank you, Facebook user, whoever you may be. Yeah, and uh, I mean, 900 is too much. I wouldn't go that high. I've gotten restone real other stuff for cheaper. Um, I mean, that bell has all it is is stones. So, so <laughs> there's that. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't want a figs. I want shop. So, anyway, thank you for joining us, Mike. Thank you for doing that. Yes. I never drank goat milk ever. Um, we love you guys. God bless you. Don't preach ethics if you're being unethical and don't be a hypocrite love you guys god bless you take care everybody